Welcome back to Black Swan Outdoors. Today we're going to talk about the pace card. Uh, the pace card is something that I almost never see people talk about. Um, you see plenty of videos online uh, on YouTube about, you know, in, in, in land navigation about using ranger beads and having this high degree of accuracy with uh, dead reckoning. And, and really, for most people, that level of accuracy for just general hiking is not necessary. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of cool guy stuff, but, um, one of the things I never, ever hear people talk about when they're talking about ranger beads and dead reckoning is how important your pace is. It doesn't matter how many beads you knock off. If your pace is constantly changing or the pace that you've based, uh, your hike on is off because the clothing that you're wearing is different. The terrain that you're on is different. Your visibility is different. All this stuff makes a big, big difference. And so for most people, or, or at least for myself, I've always kept my pace paces in a notebook. All the different paces that I have are in this notebook, and I can judge um, distance and time based off of my pace, based off of uh, that pace that's been recorded in under those specific conditions. Uh, so what I thought was to create a pace card for other people, um, very similar to the notebook series that I did, um, and, and I'll link a video to that. Um, but this pace card, basically just put your name in and then you can record your paces and your conversions. And this makes for, you know, navigation and, and judging time and space super much easier. Um, I have additional pace cards, uh, another pace card here for, um, nighttime zero visibility. So this could be a winter storm, um, you know, a fog, whatever. And then a rough terrain, steep sloping pace card. Um, you know, again, you want to make sure that you're not just doing your pace card, your pace is on, you know, only on flat terrain paved, you know, paved road, which is a lot of people do. I know there's a ton of people that just go out to a football field, uh, you know, the high school football field in town and do their pace counts off that football field. Well, then once they throw on a pair of boots and put a pack on and get out into rough terrain, everything is different. Uh, the pace is not the same. So, um, yeah, so minor sloping rough terrain, steep sloping rough terrain, uh, nighttime visibility, um, and then a couple general pace cards that you can use to hand out to people and they can record their own pace card. If you write on pencil with this, uh, these pace cards, because they're laminated with contact paper, that wipes off. Um, or you can keep it permanent by putting, you know, using a marker. So if you're interested in pace cards and trying them out, um, they're free on the, on the website at www.blackswanoutdoors.com. Thank you for subscribing. Please comment down below if you've got any questions. And uh, if you're interested in navigation videos, let me know and I'll continue to do more navigation videos. Thanks again.